Excellences, chers amis, permettez-moi tout d'abord de remercier le président Macron et le Premier ministre Modi d'avoir organisé ce sommet pour l'action sur l'intelligence artificielle. Chers amis, allons droit au but. Regardons le monde qui nous entoure, au-delà de tous ceux qui sont dans cette salle. Notre réunion pose une question fondamentale sur notre rapport collectif à l'intelligence artificielle. Sommes-nous prêts pour l'avenir la réponse s'impose d'elle-même. Non. Nous ne sommes peut-être même pas collectivement prêts pour le présent. En un battement de cils, l'intelligence artificielle a quitté l'univers de la science-fiction pour devenir une force puissante qui révolutionne notre monde, transformant nos modes de vie, de travail et d'interaction alimentant des avancées majeures dans l'éducation, la santé, l'agriculture, mais mettant également à l'épreuve nos valeurs communes et nos droits fondamentaux. Le pouvoir de l'intelligence artificielle impose d'immenses responsabilités. Aujourd'hui, ce pouvoir est entre les mains d'une poignée de personnes, tandis que certaines entreprises et certains pays se lancent dans une course effrénée avec des investissements sans précédent, la plupart des nations en développement se retrouvent laissées pour compte. Cette concentration grandissante des capacités en matière d'intelligence artificielle menace d'aggraver les clivages géopolitiques. Nous devons empêcher l'émergence d'un monde de nantis et de démunis de l'intelligence artificielle. Nous tous travaillons ensemble. Nous devons faire que l'intelligence artificielle puisse combler le fossé entre les pays développés et les pays en développement et non le creuser. Elle doit accélérer le développement durable et pas perpétuer les inégalités. Excellencies, the United Nations offers an inclusive, transparent and effective platform for AI solidarity. And we are working to strengthen the platform. The Global Digital Compact, adopted at the Summit of the Future, established the first universal agreement on the governance of AI. It brings the world together around a shared vision, one where technology serves humanity, not the other way around. The creation of an independent international scientific panel on AI will be centered to translating this vision into reality. By pooling global expertise, the scientific panel will promote a common understanding of AI risks, benefits, capabilities and opportunities and help bridge knowledge gaps. I urge everyone to support the creation without delay. Member States also agreed to establish a global dialogue on AI governance within the United Nations to ensure that all countries have a voice in shaping the future of AI. Through the global dialogue, we can align governance efforts around the world and reinforce their interoperability, uphold human rights in AI applications, and prevent misuse. The UN provides an inclusive forum for cooperating, complementing existing mechanisms such as the OECD AI principles, G7 and the Global Partnership on AI, as well as regional efforts by the African Union, the European Union, ASEAN, and the Council of Europe. And I am confident that discussions at this summit will help enrich this dialogue. The Compact also calls for building AI capacity in developing nations. And this is not only about technology diffusion. We need concerted efforts to build sustainable digital infrastructure at an unprecedented scale. 
foster talent and train workforces to develop, deploy and maintain AI systems and ultimately empower peoples and nations to become not just users but active participants in the AI revolution. A global AI capacity building network as proposed by my high-level advisory body on AI is an economic necessity and a moral imperative. Today's launch of current AI, a public interest partnership, is an important contribution. I will soon present a report on innovative voluntary financing models and capacity building initiatives to help all countries harness AI as a force for good. And finally, we know that AI can be a force for climate action and energy efficiency. But we also know AI power intensive systems are already placing an unsustainable strain on our planet. So it is crucial to design AI algorithms and infrastructures that consume less energy and integrate AI into smart grids to optimize power use. From data centers to training models, AI must run on sustainable energy so that it fuels a more sustainable future. Excellencies, I began with a question. Let me end with a few more. Who decides what problems AI should or should not resolve? Who benefits most from its deployment? Who bears the cost of its mistakes? These questions affect everyone, and so the answers must also involve everyone. It is in all our interests for, our go for governments and technology leaders to commit to global guardrails, to share best practices, and to shape fair policy and business models. The whole world benefits when development banks and philanthropic community provide catalytic funding to jumpstart capacity building worldwide. And we all stand to gain when academia and thought leaders help to navigate through this complex landscape. AI is not standing still, neither can we. Let us move for an AI that is shaped by all of humanity, for all of humanity. In other words, let's make sure we are ready for the future right now, and I thank you.